testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back. Uh, it was an exciting night of boxing yesterday. Um, Katie Taylor put on a sensational performance, uh, but we're going to have what we're going to get into today, um, which is, well, first the Franco Crawford card, we'll be back later. Uh, the Franco Maloney uh, fight on the Terrence Crawford Cal Brook card. We're going to come back later. We're going to do a show on Terrence Crawford and Cal Brook and break that down. Uh, Matt and I and maybe UK Raw will be back on MCR podcast to do a um, break that down in more detail. The three of us, uh, but today's uh, this this podcast is uh, about something very specific, as you may have guessed. Um, I can't believe I have do a show on this. I can't. It's caused and um, the amount of debate and up uh, uprise it's caused. Um, but Josh Franco and the and, and Andrew Maloney, the no contest, the headbutt. Um, which we will get into. The Nevada State Athletic Commission got the call call right. I know that's not what ESPN told you as they were spewing some crazy propaganda last night, uh, but we will get into all of it, and I'll explain to you why the call was the right call. There is no debate about that. That's what caused the puffiness and the irritation to the eye. Okay? Um, if anyone wants to debate that, take a look. This is not debatable. Maybe not, but I want to get into that. Um, that Josh Franco initiated the headbutt. As long as it's ruled accidental, it doesn't matter who initiated it. And that's irrelevant. It's an a- the, the headbutt was not caused by a legal punch. It was caused by a headbutt. doesn't matter who initiated it. It was caused by an accidental headbutt. The ruling is the same. No matter who you think initiated it, the ruling is the same. Okay? We'd go to the card at the four. Before the end of four, it's a no contest. Okay, so who initiated it doesn't matter. Uh, The other argument that I'm hearing, uh, which I want to address, is that, well, that caused the eye, but the punches and the jab um, increased the swelling, made the swelling worse, which is why they stopped it. Yes, I agree with that. Okay, now the rule is whatever causes the mouse, okay, whatever causes the injury, the initial cause of the injury is what we go by, right? If you get a headbutt, and that headbutt opens up a little nick underneath your eye. Five, six, seven rounds go by. Eight rounds go by. And that cut, that little nick, turns into a huge cut that pours blood into your eye and causes the fight to be stopped. Guess what? We're going to the scorecards. You know why? Because the cut, the initial cut, was caused by an accidental clash of heads. Okay? The, the mouse, the bruising is the same thing. The injury was caused by the headbutt. Okay? Now, did the jab make it worse? Probably. 
Absolutely, it made it worse. Did the thumb make it worse? Absolutely, it made it worse. But it was already existent, right? That is clear as day, okay? The Uh, Maloney was controlling the fight with Jeb. That is all irrelevant. That is all irrelevant. If an accidental foul occurs before the end of the fourth round and it causes the fight to be stopped before the end of the fourth round, it's ruled a no contest. After the end of the fourth round, we go to the scorecards. Okay. So there was an accidental foul. That one right there. That caused a mouse under his eye. Yes, a jab made it worse. Um, the fight ended before the end of the fourth round, so we go to the scorecards. Kudos to the Nevada State Athletic Commission for getting this one correct. Guys, I, I, I get it. The, the headbutt wasn't some big, massive thing that opened up a big chunk over his eye, right? Um, but it's, it's clear as day. And they reviewed it for 24 minutes or whatever it was. They got it right. 22, 24 minutes, whatever it was. They got it right. They got the call right. And look, If this if that doesn't suffice as evidence, then you, you're not interested in the truth, right? I get a lot of you out there, ESPN told me it was a headbutt, so I don't care what type of Empirical evidence you show me. You can show me videos, uh, pictures, photographs. I don't care. ESPN told me it was a headbutt. They seemed outraged. They must be right. No, they weren't right, okay? And that was propaganda they were spewing, right? Because Andre Ward went from there was no headbutt to there's the headbutt, and then Joe Tess sort of saying it's the other side while they're showing it, and it's obviously the right side of his face. And then Andre Ward goes, well, I don't think that clash ahead would cause a, 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 that kind of bruising. A jab would you know, like just think about that for a second. Okay, so you already Andre Ward's already switched the goalposts, right? He went from I don't think it happened to from it didn't happen. There was no head but to damage. I, that's irrelevant if you think it would cause that damage. Did it cause any damage? Did it cause the initial damage? Right? So that's just pro and Andre Ward knows that. Tim Bradley knows that. Joe Tessitore deliberately did not show it after that first time they showed it because they wanted a certain outcome. They wanted Andrew Maloney to get his title back. That was clear as day. That was so obvious. That was painfully obvious. They wanted to rob that kid. That was clearly a headbutt. I, I've just showed it to you a hundred times. I agree, and that's why we we're not at the end of the fourth round, so we don't go to the scorecard. It's not a TKO. It's a no contest. The Modest Athletic Commission got this 100% right, guys. You may not like that. You may not like the rule. You may think that it should be ruled a TKO. You may think it should go to the – I don't know what you think, but the call was right. If you don't like the rule, fight to have the the rule change. It's like the tuck rule, the Tom Brady tuck rule. Like If you don't like it – I don't care. Like it doesn't matter if you like it. Like it's oh the catch rule with Des Bryant. Like that's the rule. Like the, the ruling is what it is. They got if you don't like the rule, if you think the rule is bad, try to have the rule changed. Um, but the rule they, as the letter of the law, they got it right. And I think it's the right call. That was a headbutt. Look, guys, I, I want to talk to you, right? Because I'm going to assume that if you're listening to this, if you watch Franco versus Maloney, it's not the first time you ever watched boxing in your whole entire life. I'm going to assume you're a hardcore. How many times have you seen an eye swap like that in one round, in the first round of a fight, due to a couple of jabs? Go ahead. I'll wait. Give me one example of when someone's eye was completely shut after one round because of a couple of jabs. You wait. You tell me, and I'll wait. Put it in the links. Put it in the, I mean, put it in the comment section. Tweet at me. Come after me on, on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing. Well, let me know. When you see that happen to an eye in the first round because a guy got hit with a jab, 
This is insane. I mean, it doesn't even make any type of common sense, right? So just logistically, it doesn't make any sense that a jab would do that to his eye. So let's go to the videotape. Oh, there. Some of y'all is just like, oh, ESPN told me. So ESPN is telling me the gospel truth. ESPN wouldn't lie to me. ESPN must be right. Well, they're wrong. And I think they were intentionally wrong. I mean, I don't think it's a far stretch to say that Tim Bradley and Joe Tessitore are company guys. Obviously, they're company guys. Joe Tessitore is terrible. He has the best job in sports. He does football for ABC and ESPN. Is he good at his job? No. Right? So obviously he's not going to bite the hand that feeds him. It is what it is. But <laughs> there was that was clear as day, a headbutt that happened with 208, 52 seconds into the opening round. He immediately, and go back and watch it. I will post the link below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not really interested in having a debate. You know why? Because you can't debate that. That, but Nevada got it right. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, I want to see the fight again. Hopefully, we see it again. Um, but let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, follow me on all forms of social media 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, I'm now on MeWe, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, obviously, YouTube, the whole thing. Follow me all forms. Share this. Um, if anyone tells you that it was caused by a punch or the headbutt was on the other side of the head, which is some ridiculous propaganda that Joe Tessitore spread, just show them the p pictures, show them the videos, show them this. Share this all forms, social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Remember to like and subscribe from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.